All right, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you everyone for joining us today for Get Your SLG Accounts Off the Ground and Into the Cloud with AK Enterprise Solutions. Um, this is a educational lunch and learn for folks at Microsoft to educate you about our uh, state and local government offerings. Um, we have a great presentation here. and We're going to have Alan Kahn, uh, CEO, and Greg Inks uh, taking us through um, our offerings. And they'll get into that in just a second. But before we get started, I just wanted to touch on a few housekeeping notes. Um, first off, please close any programs that you're running on your computer other than GoToWebinar. Use one monitor for the webinar. Um, if you're dialed in through your phone, you will need to unmute your speakers on your computer on your computer during the video portion. We will be showing a video of McHenry, uh, McHenry County, Illinois, um, which is a really great story and we're very excited to share it with you, but it does work best if you unmute your speakers because it will play through your computer speakers. Um, lastly, if you experience any issues, please reach out to GoTo directly at support.logmeininc.com backslash go webinar backslash contact us. It's right there on the screen. Um, if you have any issues at all that aren't able to get back in or, or have um, any trouble, please don't worry about it. Uh, we are recording the session. Uh, we'll send you a link to the recording and a copy of the video after a call. Next, um, just please ask questions. This is to learn about our, uh, this is for you to learn about us. So we really encourage you to ask us questions if anything comes up. You can use the panel on the right hand side of the screen. Um, just type in and hit enter. If we don't have any time at the end, um, we'll be sure to follow up with you after the call. And with that, I'll hand it over to Alan Kahn, CEO, and he'll kick us off. Thanks so much, Petra. Um, so the agenda for today's call is an introduction to AKA. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of our customers <clears throat> and recent wins, and, uh, and then talk about some of our cloud offerings and the marketing campaigns we're doing, as well as tools and resources that we are providing to Microsoft sellers to help them to reach out to their customers. And lastly, we'll close out with some next steps and call to actions. The presenters for today will be myself. I'm the CEO of AK Enterprise Solutions and I'm the acting practice lead for the public sector business and Greg Inks, who uh, is our, the cloud practice lead for AKA and he'll be focusing in on the areas of the presentation that are specifically cloud oriented. So first, a, a bit more of an introduction to others on our team. You see Alan and Greg there as the first two. Anthony and Michael are the two primary sellers into our public sector accounts. Uh, Nadine is a relationship seller, so she's uh, primarily uh, um, responsible for the relationship we have with Microsoft and the individual sellers. She's the most reachable. Others might be uh, pursuing opportunities. So if there's anything that you need to do with us, Nadine is a good place to start. And then Bryn and Petra are two resources focused on marketing into state and local governments. And so um, they're on the call as well. So this is just a little bit of high level on our company. We are a cloud consultancy focused on digital transformation for our clients, leveraging D365 and Azure as a platform. We did about $30 million in sales last year with about 130 people here in the US. Um, we do win lots of awards from Microsoft and we'll talk to that in an upcoming slide. Been in business for 25 years, Microsoft Gold certified and focused on state and local government. This is a graphic to describe the pieces of what we do. The top two there in the green and the orange are D365, I'm gonna make an assumption that everyone knows what D65, DC365 is, uh, but in terms of uh, workloads, um, you know, uh, in, in the public sector, specifically state and local governments, service tends to be a little bit more um, the, the focal point versus sales, and, and that is to say that uh, we're generally working with systems where we create cases that relate to issues that need to get solved for citizens or constituents, and then resolving those cases, uh, the workflow associated with those cases, closing the cases, maybe pushing them back up to a portal so everyone knows what's going on. That's what uh, 
uh, primarily we've done for the clients that we'll mention during this uh, presentation. Power BI is a uh, obviously is a way to um, get analytical about the data that may reside in CRM, ERP, or legacy systems. Uh, cloud is Azure, and ERP is uh, more traditional financial procurement type projects, and the workloads include finance and operations as well as talent. And at the bottom, you see industry IP. That's fine. You don't need to go back. Uh, industry IP, we call dynamics advantage. Uh, when we create IP that makes our solution more uh, impactful for a state and local government client. So we've closed some of the gaps that might exist for our clients. I'll refer to that later on. Um, I'm not going to mention all of these awards. I'll just mention the first one there, and that says Microsoft Dynamics ERP Partner of the Year. In 2016, that was actually Dynamics All Up Partner of the Year. So every year, Microsoft recognizes three partners out of the 4,000 or so that they have as the Dynamics Partner of the Year. And you can see that AKA has been recognized as that uh, many times over the last 15 years or so. So we're very proud of that. We're a big player in the dynamic space, even though we're not necessarily the biggest company, uh, the biggest partner out there. So I'm going to transition here and talk a little bit about some of our solutions. I won't go too deeply into describing what these are, since they're pretty self-explanatory, but I do want to mention some of the clients that we have using these solutions. So uh, Citizen 311 is self-explanatory. AK was a subcontractor and is a subcontractor to IBM on the rollout of um, their 311 system here in New York City. So New York City has embraced Dynamics uh, for 311, and we're working with IBM on that. Fairfax County is another, Fairfax County, Virginia, is another uh, customer where we're doing service request assignment and classification and routing and uh, dashboard reporting for them all around uh, citizen engagement. Um, switching over to health and human resources, we've done a couple of projects in the federal government for the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, the VA, as well as the Administration for Children and Families. Uh, in state and local government, we've done uh, a project for New York City Department of Youth and Community Services. That's an organization that funds youth programs here in New York City. Uh, we did various case management uh, systems uh, between the city providers and participants. Uh, next is um, public health outbreak and, and tracking. We've done great work for Fairfax County, Virginia uh, to enable fast response uh, in reaction to an outbreak, uh, comprehensive call center, case management, real-time reporting and analytics, and immunization monitoring. Um, I'm going to skip over to uh, finance and uh, human capital management. So that's the ERP. The other uh, five items are all CRM based and case management based. Finance and human capital management is very much the ERP solution. It is either a financial system or a procurement system or human capital uh, with talent. So some clients that we've done great projects there with. Uh, Town of Oyster Bay was one of the original public sector clients for Microsoft using Dynamics. Roanoke County, Virginia, uh, McHenry County, Illinois, that we're going to talk more about, and Washington State Department of Ecology. And then lastly, most of the uh, municipalities that we work with end up using CRM for their own use in their technology office. So that's to answer questions and, and handle cases relating to technology. And we've done great work with Chesterfield County and Virginia Department of Social Services uh, in that area. So these are some of our uh, customers, uh, and we'll send you this. Um, you'll have a recording of this so you can look at the logos and see if some of these accounts are uh, your accounts or if you've got other accounts that look a lot like them. We'd love to uh, engage with you in, in pursuits, and we'll talk more about how to do that. But for starters, let's talk about McHenry County, Illinois. Uh, so that's a county that we uh, pursued with Jack Kelly prior to the reorganization at the end of last year. And then Dustin Knudsen picked up the account uh, post reorg. And um, it's a great project. Uh, and we have actually done a video with them, even though we're still in the midst of the project. They have agreed to uh, do a video with us because they're so excited about this move to the cloud. 
and wanted to promote it and get the word out there. So we're going to play that video now, if all goes well. And um, I'll come back in as soon as it's uh, finished playing. We always feel it's better to hear from the client than to hear from us. Just a couple of quick recommendations, guys. Uh, please use one monitor for the webinar again. If you're dialed into your phone, you'll need to unmute your speakers now to hear the video play. And be sure to select window mode, the square below your microphone, the control panel. Sometimes full screen will not display the video portion during the video. So with that. There's always something new. And you have to challenge yourself to be open to trying something new. The residents we serve, they have a lot more experience with technology now, and there's an expectation that their government is going to keep pace. Everything shows that the industry are going to the cloud very rapidly, and we decided it was time for McHenry County to do the same thing. Dynamics 365 had an excellent cloud-based solution, and it just made a lot of sense. We have about 1,200 employees and 28 offices and departments that are serving the 308,000 residents. The Sheriff's Department planning and development, our own county nursing home. In the Division of Transportation, we are a very complex organization, and AKA understands that. IT organizations struggle with providing the functionality that people expect today, and the only way to do that is through leveraging cloud applications. One of the top benefits of moving to the cloud is accessibility for our users. The uh, cloud itself can be accessed by an iPad, by a desktop computer, by an iPhone. We have remote access capabilities for management, giving the users lots of flexibility. Protecting our data is the biggest thing we do. That's what we are. We're stewards of information. And Microsoft's cloud is more secure than we as a county could ever be. It's a small endeavor to make the decision to look at a new ERP system. It was important for us to pick a consultant organization who had familiarity with county governments, who understood the product they were selling, and could help us deliver that throughout the county. We're recognizing now that this is where the future is going to be, and it was comfortable to move with a company like AKA and Microsoft to help our policymakers service our residents better. Okay, fantastic. Uh, hopefully everyone was able to hear that and see it. Uh, just a couple more facts on the McHenry County, Illinois, uh, to give you some sense of the financial impact. Uh, McHenry County is um, generating about $200,000 to $220,000 per year of revenue to the Microsoft seller to help them retire quota. And so uh, just give you a little bit of a sense, I don't know, uh, so it's a good number to, to help with the D365 um, quota. Uh, we can go ahead down to the next one. So the next client we wanted to focus in on was the Virginia Department of Social Services. Uh, not uh, promoting a video here, but Dave Walsh was the, uh, is the uh, seller for Virginia. We've been selling with Dave for many, many years in ERP and uh, now with CRM. Um, here's a slide with some of the highlights. I think I mentioned previously that the primary areas that we worked on with the um, Virginia Department of Social Services is a citizen engagement type of 311 uh, system, as well as handling uh, cases for their internal IT department and their HR department. This has uh, got uh, 500 seats will eventually be deployed in the Virginia Department of Social Services, which will generate approximately $550,000 in annual subscription revenue uh, for the Microsoft sellers involved. The last of the three clients that we wanted to focus on is the Department of Ecology. Uh, Department of Ecology is uh, very close to me because I'm the executive sponsor on that project. We sold it with Tara Hamby, who's responsible for Washington State, and Doug Bell as a technical resource. And some more specifics on Department of Ecology. I mentioned earlier that we build intellectual property for each of our clients and as a repeatable uh, offering to our clients. And so we call that Dynamics Advantage. In the case of Washington State Ecology, we've got a loan portfolio uh, requirement that we're gonna be building for them. So Ecology actually 
uh, loans money to other agencies that are doing uh, ecological projects. And so they've got a $1.4 billion loan portfolio and need to keep track of all that. So we'll be building that into Dynamics Advantage and offering it to them and others on a go forward basis as part of the project. Uh, so ecology, I think, is about a $220,000 annual subscription for Dynamics. So with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Greg Inks, and he'll be talking a little bit about some of our Azure Cloud offerings. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so as Alan mentioned, I am the Cloud Practice Lead for AKA. Uh, our Cloud Practice is really focused in on four key distinct areas uh, going forward uh, for this year. Our first is really around our Cloud Strategy Consulting Practice. Uh, this is really focused on helping our SLG customers understand more than just what an assessment is, but how to get into the cloud and what makes the most sense for them. So really looking at uh, sort of that, that strategy consulting type of engagement, helping a customer look at their existing investments and their on-premise uh, environments, uh, and what makes the most sense for them to embrace as they move forward into the cloud, into Azure, what capabilities make the most, uh, most sense for them. The second area is around our cloud infrastructure engineering practice. This is more of that traditional uh, infrastructure type of approach to, to cloud, where we'll help our customers with uh, moving workloads up into Azure, uh, be it uh, Windows or Microsoft-based technology or even open source, help them get those workloads up into Azure, either as standalone business uh, applications or even in an augmented way for a dynamics engagement. So we'll, we'll engage in this way, whatever makes the most sense for the customer and help them get up and running into Azure uh, with all of the right capabilities as quickly as possible. The third area is our native cloud application development practice. Um, this is exactly what it sounds like. This is more of your traditional app dev uh, where we'll help build solutions, either uh, cloud integration software to connect uh, dynamics or other systems to other cloud software products or past products, or even integrate on-premise into the cloud for data exchange or transactional volumes, those, those types of activities. Or we focus very heavily in on uh, the, the data platform side of Azure and help customers figure out exactly what makes the most sense for them in terms of reporting and analytics, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. The last area that we um, focus pretty heavily on for our customers is our cloud managed services. Uh, this is where we will offer a, a turnkey operational uh, type of engagement for a customer where we can run a cloud platform or a cloud workload for them on their behalf in the early days and teach them how to use the cloud or be a full outsourced solution for them and, and operate much as their own IT department. In terms of uh, the different types of plays and offerings, uh, we are aggressively growing our practice and adding more on a, almost a weekly basis. Some of the key plays that we find very successful in the SLG space are kind of listed on the screen. I'm not gonna go through these in, in deep detail, uh, but you can see here that this is very analogous to what we were just discussing uh, on the prior slide. And then in terms of the one commercial uh, partner uh, uh, program. We are actively participating uh, with Microsoft in this. We have a number of solutions that are at various stages of, of co-cell ready within OCP. Uh, two ones uh, are very specific to uh, lift and shift and taking workloads up into cloud uh, from a, a ground to cloud strategy point of view, as well as what we call our cloud essentials. And, and this is an engagement um, specifically around helping a customer get set up in the cloud the right way, be it subscription management, uh, software licensing and tenant stand up to Azure Active Directory, uh, security posture, network topography, and you name it. It's really to try to help customers uh, in, almost in a fast track type of capacity, get up and running in Azure as quickly as possible so that their engagements are successful. We have four other uh, solutions that are in the, in the catalog that are in progress. Again, uh, very analogous to the plays that we were discussing earlier, managed services, uh, our migration uh, project specifically for ERP and CRM. This is to take a customer that may be operating on an older version of the software, traditionally on-premise, and help them accelerate their migration into Azure, either through lift and shift or ultimately all the way to Dynamics 365. And then lastly, our high availability and disaster recovery. For SLG customers, this is helping them understand that their 
their costs uh, for doing a full backup solution for business continuity doesn't necessitate a, a large footprint on premise. We can help them take advantage of Azure from a DR perspective to make sure that, you know, should they have a natural disaster or, or something worse happen where the primary systems go offline, they have a replica running in Azure that they can fall back on and keep services flowing. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Alan. Thanks so much, Craig. So just to cover a few of the tools that we're using to work closely with Microsoft and go to market uh, in pursuit of SLG customers, uh, we have on the next uh, screen, you'll see some Cosell Ready solutions in addition to the ones that Greg just mentioned. Jumped the gun a little bit there. We can go back. Um, and, and so we're also doing a, a, a targeted battle card uh, for state and local government, as well as a uh, email tool. So these are tools that help the sellers to uh, engage with us and pursue SLG clients together. Okay, let's uh, go forward. And so here's a, an example on the left side of those uh, COSEL ready state and local government uh, solutions. Um, I mentioned all of them already, but you'll see them in the OCP catalog. And an example of a battle card for the financial management piece, you'll see it uh, will help you to qualify opportunities as well as uh, have some of the questions that would you, would you might ask customers, very simple questions, not complicated, intimidating ones. Uh, and some of the customer examples that you can reference if you're in a conversation, uh, as well as contacts from AK. If, if the conversation is a little bit too overwhelming or you want to do more of a one-to-many approach, we have email templates that we can provide to you that you can send to your customer. Just stick in their email address and name and it'll get uh, the conversation started. If there's a response and an interest, you can pull us in right away uh, and we can uh, help you run with it. Uh, Petra is listed there as a contact. If there's interest, uh, we've had a lot of interest coming off of uh, many of these webinars with individual sellers that say, hey, here's my customer list. This is how I want to go after these uh, with you and, and we engage. So some next steps and call to actions with regard to the cloud roadmap. I'll turn that back over to Greg and then come back in just a second. Yeah, so um, uh, we would really like to ask of everybody on the call to, to think about what customers you have in the SLG space that would or are thinking about the cloud to, to various degrees, even if it's not necessarily Azure, uh, although we would certainly encourage them to go look that way. Uh, we're trying to help customers through our roadmap offering understand what their options are, what the return on investment could look like, and what makes the most sense for them from a timing perspective. You know, uh, try to help our customers understand it doesn't have to be an all or nothing proposition. They can bite uh, bite things off in smaller chunks and make their move up to the cloud in a pace that, that makes the most sense for them. So if you have a customer that is on the fence and they're looking to try to just really figure this out, uh, pull us in and we'd be happy to go through one of these cloud roadmap app offerings uh, and see if we can't help them understand their options. And then the second uh, call to action that we're really asking for is uh, in the next uh, couple of days here on April 18th, we're going to be hosting a, a ground to cloud webcast targeted specifically at SLG customers, where we're going to help go through some of the common myths and concerns that uh, other other uh, agencies have had with moving to the cloud, uh, be it uh, is, is it a security concern, is it a data sovereignty concern, uh, maybe they have uh, misunderstandings of what is Azure Gov Cloud versus the commercial cloud, really trying to go through and help debunk some of those myths and, and help explain the benefits uh, that are associated with moving to a, a platform as powerful as Microsoft. So, uh... This is <clears throat> sort of to close things out. We know that it is now uh, the beginning of the final quarter of the year, and I think all of the sellers are tending to be focused on closing out opportunities that exist within the pipeline. So if there's anything that's a quick hit, we'd love to get involved and try to help you to achieve your goals for FY18. But at the same time, if things come up, uh, there's opportunities with your clients. As soon as the year closes, we're all gonna be focused on FY19. Uh, we do want to emphasize that we do not need to um, involve you heavily. We can get activities going and get uh, momentum with the client. So if you're focusing on closing business uh, for uh, for the current year and the in the final quarter, 
that's just fine. You know, just get us introduced and we will begin to build a pipeline for you for FY19. So with that, I will ask if there are any questions that we can answer uh, coming off of this. If, if uh, I think you can uh, submit those in, in the box and if not, we can uh, close this out and uh, give you access to it as a as follow-up. Hey everyone, it's me again. Uh, again, you can enter your questions as, as Alan just said using the panel on the right hand of the screen. It looks like we do have one that just came in. Um, this is, sorry if I missed it, who covered the Southeast? Yeah, so we're not uh, regionally, uh, in, in our verticals, we're not regionally uh, cornered off. So it's really more about what the type of opportunity and pursuit it is, and then we'll make sure we get somebody uh, working on that that has that the best experience. We have resources all over the country, so more often than not, we're able to put somebody uh, in or to do a demonstration if need be, uh, with with resources that are that are local when we staffing projects that are coming from all over the country we have people in the southeast that uh, may very well be able to perform the the consulting without travel but from a sales perspective the the inquiry should come into uh, either through Nadine or or to our head of sales uh, at Costas and we will get the right person engaged Great, thank you, Ellen. Um, next we have, what contract vehicles do you use? Are you on Texas DIR? Yeah, so we're we're on some vehicles. We're also in partnership, generally speaking, since we can't cover contracting all over the country and, and every type of vehicle, we've been very successful at partnering with others, uh, whether that be MCS or uh, GSIs like KPMG. Uh, or in some cases, just a local firm. All the New York City work has been through one of the, the local New York City system integrators. Uh, usually we're able to accomplish that. Sometimes we can even avoid a complex procurement process by partnering with someone who's, who's got a local contract and uh, can do work without it going through RFP. So uh, a lot of our work has been in conjunction with uh, local local partners. Great. Thank you, Alan. Any other questions? Okay. Great. We are right at one o'clock. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. If you have any follow-up questions, uh, you can feel free to shoot them to Nadine or myself. I apologize to introduce myself at the beginning. I'm Paige Ryan Miller, Marketing and Business Development Manager here at AK Enterprise Solutions. Um, Thank you again for your time and your attention, and I will be sending out the link to the recording and the video um, within the next couple of business days.